Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'm going over a grade 12 physics lab on circular motion. Now, if you want a copy of the lab handout I give my students, you can find that in the description of the video. Let's go over our equipment. So here we have a rubber stopper attached to a string that can go through freely this tube. The tube is what I'll hold on to. And then I have a bunch of washers that I can attach to the other end of the string that's just going to hang there. And of course, I have a scale to determine the mass of the washer. So what are we going to do in this lab? Well, we'll determine the mass of the washer. Let's just do that right now. So the washer is 34.6 grams, 34.6 grams. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach weights onto the other end. So let's start with the maximum amount, 15 washes. All right, so now I got 15 washer attached to this end. I've also got a piece of masking tape right here. This masking tape will let me see if the string is moving up or down. So as I rotate, the washer above me. If I rotate too fast, you can see this masking tape starts to go up. We don't want that. If I rotate too slow, you can see it starting to drop. We don't want that. We want to rotate our rubber stopper just at the right speed so that we can keep the tape just below uh, the tube that I'm holding onto. That way we know the radius, and we'll measure that later, the radius of rotation, but we also don't want it to go up and down because that would mean we have an acceleration of the washers. I don't want that either. So why don't I want that? Well, let's go over the calculations of how we're going to determine the mass of the washers. All right, so here we have our rubber stopper. Let's call this mass M. And it's being whirled around in a horizontal circle with a radius of r. And here we have our washers. Let's call this mass big M. All right. So let's look at the forces on each free body diagram. For our washers, we're going to have a force of tension up. And we are going to have a force of gravity down. Let's call that big Mg. And over here for a stopper, we simply have a force of tension. We can ignore the force of gravity because it's going to be acting perpendicular to that. All right, so let's analyze both free body diagrams. We can start with this one. Now, we did have a piece of tape here. And remember I said it's important that that tape doesn't move up and down because we want all the forces acting on these washers to be equal to zero. And when that happens, we're going to have the magnitude of tension equals mg. All right, knowing this, let's go up and analyze the rubber stopper. Now, the rubber stopper is going to be going through a centripetal motion. So the sum of all forces contributing to centripetal forces will be equal to mass times centripetal acceleration. Now, the only force here is tension. Tension is the one that contribute to centripetal motion, and that's going to equal mass times centripetal acceleration. Now for centripetal acceleration, since in this experiment we can easily measure period, let's write it as 4 pi squared r over the period squared. Now tension we know since it's the same rope is going to equal to big mg. So we can write that as big mg is equal to small m 4 pi squared r over t squared and in the experiment we used the scale to measure the mass of the stopper we used a ruler to measure the radius that it undergoes its circular motion in and we are going to be measuring the period first by taking the time the total time and then dividing by the number of cycles. And in this experiment, we're finding that total time for 10 cycles. Now I'll give you period. 
And then we simply divide by G and you can figure out what the mass of those washers will be as it will be mass of the stopper times four pi squared R over G times period squared. All right, so just before we get started, there's one more piece of information we need, and that's the radius. So we're going to measure from the rubber stopper to the end of the handle that I hold. Make sure the string is nice and taut, right where the masking tape is at the bottom. And we get a radius of 75 centimeters. So you can record that. All right, so now that we're back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this around, get it to the right speed so that we have no vertical acceleration here. And then we're going to calculate the period of rotation or the frequency. But we'll first be able to do that by finding the time of 10 cycles or 10 rotations. You could record the time either with the phone if you're watching this, or you can just look at the timeline in the video and record it there. Then we're going to do the same for five washers and 10 washers. So let's start with 15. Okay, let's get this a little higher. All right, so I've got the tape there. It's not moving up or down, so this is a good speed. Let's start. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, now 10 washes. Notice that I have to spin a little bit slower. Let's get it a little bit there. That's a good point. And let's start measuring time. And one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and finally, now we've only got five watches on here, so I'm going to have to spin it even slower. Move this up and slow down. There we go. I have to duck so I don't get hit in the head. And we'll start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So now you have all your data. Do your calculations. Let me know the masses of the 5, 10, and 15 washers. All right. So I'm assuming you've done your calculations. Let's see if you were right. So we're going to weigh 5, 10, and 15 washers and compare them to the calculations you got from the experiment. So let's start with five washes. Five washes, 62.0 grams. How close were you? 10 washes, 126.0 grams, and 15 washes, 156.8 grams. So let me know how close you were in the comments.